Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. So, have you played Flight Simulator? No? Well, you should. However, have you played Flight Simulator in VR? No? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to. Okay, so this video is going to literally just be a quick start guide on how to get everything set up for uh, Flight Simulator with your Oculus Quest 2. I'm using the Oculus Quest 2 as an example because that's literally the headset I have. And um, it's pretty much already built into Windows Mixed Reality. I believe you don't need to do much for that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but... I'm just going to go with the um, Quest 2. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do is you want to go to um, the Microsoft Store. You want to go to the search and you want to select OpenXR. And when OpenXR comes up on the list, you want to select that and download that. So once you open that, you want to go to Developer Settings. When you go to Developer Settings, you want to go to um, Use Latest Preview XR Runtime. Toggle that on. Once that's toggled on, you're pretty much done with OpenXR. You have got some other options, like custom render scale. You can play around with that, but that's based on your computer specs and how kind of choppy it looks in the game. You don't want to be going crashing. So play around with that so you get kind of what you want, and then you'll, you'll know where you need it. You'll just tinker it as you go. Okay, so once you set up OpenXR on the computer, what you want to do is you want to run Flight Simulator. So run Flight Simulator, normal 2D mode. You don't need to be in VR for this at this point. Uh, you want to go into the settings and there is a VR tab. So the bonus of this game is you can pretty much have your PC settings and your VR separate so sip, sip settings separated. So if you're in VR, you've got all your settings like that, all your graphics and everything how you want it. But then if you go back to normal 2D mode, well, I say 2D mode, flat screen mode, non-VR, then all your settings will be as they were before. So you don't have to keep chopping and changing, you know, depending on whether you're using VR or not, which is a really good feature. I hope more play, like uh, more games use this going down the line in the future. So in the settings here, you really just want to play around like custom render scale, some of the settings, again, just to make it set to what you want. And this is going to be a bit of trial and error. You just have to play around and find where you need your settings to be. Once you've got everything set there, what you want to do is you want to then go to the bottom left and you will literally see the VR button. So once you click that, it's then going to switch everything into virtual reality mode. So you want to make sure your headset's on. You want to make sure your Quest is connected to your PC, whether that be in the uh, virtual desktop wirelessly or through the Oculus Link, which means you've got to have a USB 3 cable. And uh, once that's all done, you're pretty much there ready to go. Now, quick tip, I believe you do need your quest in developer mode. So if you need any help getting into developer mode, either let me down in the comments or search YouTube. There's loads of videos out there for it. So I won't waste your time by putting it in this video here. So once you've done that, you got VR set up, you click the VR button, you got your headset on, it's linked in, it's set up. Well, just go and get in the plane. Go to get in the plane. As soon as you do that, load in, you're in the plane, you're flying. There's one big thing that I did realize that I was kind of hoping, that I was still hoping for, but that's not in the game, and that's any compatibility with motion controllers or your hands so what you're gonna have to bear in mind is you are still using a controller a flight stick um keyboard and mouse all outside of vr so you got your headset on but you need to know where everything is here because if you don't you're gonna crash well, you may not even get off the ground so bear that in mind i use a uh some kind of flight stick i can't even remember which one it's a well-known brand but brain fart forgotten i've been at work all day so gone um and then you just need to make sure you're familiar with the controller you're using the mouse and the keyboard try and set up as little as you need on the keyboard because you are blind unless you literally know every key off the top of your head and you don't need to look which some of us can do some of us can't um you're gonna need to know what you're doing so that's the only kind of issue that i'm not happy with i was really hoping that you'd be able to kind of almost grab the the, the the flight stick and everything in the game you know the throttle and the buttons now this could be something they're working on or they're going to bring down the line literally this is dropped on december 26th so there's still time that they can do this and uh hopefully they do so that is something to look forward to but look this game you can get for six pound 99 at the moment if you are willing to subscribe to microsoft's or Xbox's Game Pass, um, which I believe is currently six ninety nine a month. You can go and try this game for as little as that. Sometimes they do offers where your first month's like ninety nine p. So, and the OpenXR software's free. So if you got all the other uh, the kit, the, the the headset, and you know a keyboard and mouse, which you all got if you're using a big computer. So try it. It's six ninety nine, and I tell you what, it's such a cool experience. Now, yes, 
Flight Sim is a very hard game to run anyway, normally, just without VR, so don't expect to get 120 frames per second, you know, absolute ultra high quality settings. It's not going to happen, but I still had a lot of fun with it. And for newcomers on VR, don't go in one of the stunt planes because you, you will throw. It, unless you literally have like no recoil to motion sickness whatsoever, take it steady. <laughs> take it steady. That's pretty much all I've got for the video. It's just a quick start guide for Flight Sim. I thought it would be a pretty cool video to bring out. Um, since all the down and the blues of the Oculus situation I've had, we're going to start picking things up back on the channel and do some positive things. Some game reviews, we're going to do some tech reviews. There's so much happening, I think, this year within the VR realm that there's a lot to cover. So hopefully you enjoy it and you'll stick around for the ride. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up. Hit the subscribe, it makes a huge difference to the channel. We are growing and I want everyone to be on board with me and uh, build a great community within the VR realm. So that's it. I think I'm done. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.